I really want to get back into Shadow of War and we will soon have a good reason to thanks to the first DLC expansion Blade of Galadriel and free DLC coming to the main game making it overall a better experience. We now know when this DLC and the expansion will drop and what they both will contain so let's dive into it in this video. If you enjoyed that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Before talking about what will be coming with the free big update so let's first take a look at the story expansion the blade of galadriel that will be coming on tuesday february 6th and it looks pretty cool so while this dlc will not contain a new region the other expansion that is coming in may will but we do get to play as ethereal who has a whole different set of abilities new gear to collect and also new moves so overall she should feel differently from talion of course some things will be the same like it will be a shadow strike that will be called a spirit strike but she should should play differently overall. One big feature that she can do for example is heal herself up during combat without having to dominate an enemy. So that is pretty pretty strong. Also orcs will just join you voluntarily so you don't have to recruit them. That will be very interesting to watch as well. She also got this light ability that can literally burn enemies away but during the stream more new abilities were shown that all looked pretty interesting. Of course I don't want to go in depth on everything because that would spoil the whole thing but there are some awesome things that we can look forward to. So yes we can upgrade her, Altaria will have a completely new skill line and also new gear showing again that the developers took the necessary time for this DLC. It looks like all the different tribe sets will be implanted in this DLC and will all give a different look to Altariel, just like it does for Talion. The perks on the sets are also different because Altariel is an assassin, she's quick, she's an elf, her stealth is also really good as well. So we will see perks that enhance her abilities and that playstyle. Also interesting is that this time around on the gear the abilities are hand picked. So not random as we saw with the second perk for every gear that Talion collects. There are also new challenges that are more puzzles this time around. Like one they showed kill a drake while mounted on a grog. So like doing things that you would normally not be compelled to do. But now you kind of have to to upgrade the gear. I really like this ID pushing you into a direction you would normally not do or just do something crazy that would otherwise make no sense. I thought this DLC was going to be big in terms of story and in terms of maybe missions but not in terms of new upgrades and skills and it really looks like this will be a completely new character to evolve and I really enjoy that of course from Shadow of War. But like I said there's also free DLC coming to the game for everyone that does not have the expansion pass. We already saw the new gear UI that will change the way we see gear making it easier to for example see what tribe the gear is from and also what level it is. So that's pretty good stuff. But we will also get some new abilities for the orcs like an ability where he will smash a hammer into the ground dealing AoE damage. So these new abilities will be added to new orcs in the expansion but also come to existing orcs in the base game. We also learned that with this new update followers will be able to give you gifts. Not really a lot of details on this yet but it does sound cool. If you enjoy using the Vodo mode in Shadow of War then you will be happy to hear that there will be new Vodo mode enhancements. We don't know what yet but more new ways to take pictures in the game and skins will also be added something we of course also saw in Shadow of Mordor and the first skin that will be added is for Altariel but there will be more coming in the future so then you will be able to play as Altariel in the main game but then you will not have the abilities and the gear you collected in the expansion but just like the skin you just look like her. When the patch and the DLC drops I want to cover it I want to get back into that Shadow of War game especially with the new gear sets that should be fun to collect new skills as well I already got the expansion pass loaded so bring on the goods I would say totally subscribe to stay up to date on everything uh, what do you think of the new info and the free update that is coming again both on February 6th let me know in the comments down below like this video to support the channel check out my video with a full rundown of all the content coming to Shadow of War in 2018 and I will speak to you next time goodbye